Paula Delinique of Palazzo Pitti is currently spotlighting an often overlooked period on the European art scene, the 18th century. We have some of the greatest uh, works from the 18th century um, that were painted by um, non-Italian painters and those have actually uh, been uh, shown separated from uh, the great Italian works by Canaletto and um, other great masters of the 18th century. Uh, and this exhibition brings them together. It brings works um, painted mostly, in fact, in Italy, but not exclusively. We also have great French works by Chardin, uh, for instance, um, together with those works uh, that have been in storage, unfortunately. And uh, in fact, we took um, Canaletto's 250th birthday um, as an occasion uh, to put uh, these works uh, on view, to contextualize them in a European uh, international uh, context. Uh, because uh, if we look um, at past centuries, uh, the 18th century was uh, really one of the most international centuries uh, uh, of all of them. And uh, in fact, Tuscany, Florence, was a center of learning, of culture, and um, in fact, it was a safe haven for, uh, uh, for people who came out of uh, France, for instance, after the French Revolution, um, uh, people uh, who uh, preferred to live here um, uh, because uh, there was a tolerance for people's sexual preferences, which uh, was lacking in other European countries, um, and even in other uh, Italian territories. Uh, we should always remember that uh, we also have the Vatican in the center of Italy, but um, Tuscany under uh, uh, Peter, uh, Pietro Leopoldo um, was a country that was open. It was the first country where the death penalty was abolished and it was the first country uh, where the, there was a, an idea which was really based on um, uh, the uh, civil rights, the nat natural rights uh, that were established by the period of enlightenment. Very comparable, in fact, to the um, uh, American Constitution, but earlier than that, uh, a few years earlier than that. So um, that is a very fascinating moment in, in the history um, of the world, really, not just uh, the history of Tuscany. And we have great masterpieces, a selection of great masterpieces, which we put on um, for this spring uh, in uh, the Petit Palace um, uh, to showcase this.